the year 2018 could be termed as one of several new beginnings for the Indian Space Agency, the political sanction for a Mangagan mission, operationalization of the heaviest rocket, steps to license out lithium-ion battery technology, introduction of new technologies in rockets and satellites and the decision to go ahead with the Indian Data Relay Satellite System, IDRIS, among others. As the year ended, the IAF got its own eye in the sky to exponentially enhance its capabilities. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, also carried out a sort of Swakvarat mission, clearing the backlog of satellite launches. The year involved hectic activities with several rocket and satellite launch missions. We completed the Navic Satellite Constellation, a regional satellite navigation system similar to GPS and launched communication satellites like GSAT-29, GSAT-11, GSAT-6A and GSAT-7A. Further, our heaviest rocket, GSLV Mark III, became operational, ISRO Chairman K-7 told Deans. Interestingly Sivan is one of the new beginnings for ISRO as he assumed office in 2018. The major boost was the Gagan announcement by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It was a major target announcement. Necessary infrastructure is being augmented, Sivan said. During 2018, almost all the technological issues relating to Chandrayaan-2 were sorted out. All the scientific instruments are ready, S. Simonath, Director, Vikram Sarab High Space Center, VSSC, told Deans. With the challenge of realizing a human space mission in 2022 an energized ISRO is working hard towards various goals for realizing the mission and others, Simonoth added. One of the critical projects was the Indian Data Relay Satellite System. There will be two Indian Data Relay Satellite System satellites of which one is targeted to be flown next year, Sivan said. The Indian Data Relay Satellite System satellites will be placed in geostationary orbit, enabling satellite-to-satellite -satellite communication and reducing the dependence on the ground stations. This communication is crucial for a manned space mission as there cannot be a risk of being without a connection and data relay. The year 2018 also saw sanctions for infrastructure augmentation, connected and non-connected with the proposed manned mission. Approval for a fully electric propelled satellite has been obtained. Similarly, sanction for additional satellites for the NAVIC system has been obtained. The next version of the reusable launch vehicle has also been sanctioned and augmentation of various infrastructural facilities are happening, Simonoth said. He said approvals for 30 more polar satellite launch vehicles, PSLVs, have also been obtained to be flown over the years. Over 100 industries have shown interest in ISRO's lithium-ion cell technology and 14 companies had been shortlisted. ISRO has transferred the technology to BUL for production of space-grade lithium-ion batteries for its needs during the year, Simonoth added. The year also saw ISRO crossing the milestone of lifting and putting into orbit over 250 foreign satellites bringing the total to 269 foreign satellites. There is increased demand for satellites from strategic sectors. About six or seven satellites are planned to be built, a senior official told Deans, preferring anonymity. The GSAT-7 and GSAT-7A are the two dedicated military communication satellites while all other Earth observation and communication satellites launched earlier were of dual use, civilian and defense. Looking forward into 2019. ISRO will also be busy with the Rs 800 Gra or Chandrayaan-2, India's second moon mission slated in January, flying its new small satellite launch vehicle, SSLV, rocket. Simonoth said ISRO's new rocket to launch small satellites is being built and will be flown next year. It will be 37 meters tall and weigh 120 ton. The rocket will be able to, to carry satellites weighing 500 to 700 kg. In 2019, about 8 PSLV, 2 GSLV Mark II and 2 GSLV Mark III, 2 SSLV and 1 test GSLV Mark III for Gagan project will be flown. A total of over 32 missions, 
satellites and rockets, have been planned for 2019, Sivan said. The one jarring note in Israel's success symphony in 2018 was the loss of the Gsat 6A satellite couple of days after it was launched in March. The satellite stopped communicating with the ground stations owing to the failure of its power systems. The Gsat 6A was supposed to complement Gsat 6 launched in 2015, to help provide technologies for point-to-point -point communication.